happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Today's read aloud is The Three Little Pigs and the author is Kath Jewett and the illustrator is Mai Matsuka. <laughs> so, once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage on the hill. They loved to eat all the delicious food their mommy made them every day. They ate so much that it wasn't long before the three little pigs had grown so big that there was no room for them in the cozy cottage anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, said the mommy one morning, but it's time you made your own way in the world. Wow. So the very next day, the three little pigs left their house. Don't forget to watch out for the big bad wolf. Oh no, called their mommy as she waved goodbye. He'll eat you for supper, so you'll need to build a big, fine, strong house as quickly as you can to keep him away. Don't worry, Ma, they oinked. We can look after ourselves. And the three little pigs strutted off down the hill, each taking a different path. It wasn't long before the first little pig met a farmer pulling a can filled with straw. Please, may I buy some straw to build the house? Asked the little pig. Of course, said the farmer, but a straw house will not be very strong. Do you think it's going to be strong? Let's see. Ah, but the little pig did not listen. Soon he was so busy stacking the bundles of straw for his new house. In no time at all, the house of straw was finished and the little pig went inside for a nap. He had just shut his eyes when there was a knock at the door. Who could it be? It was the big bad wolf and he was hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in, growled the wolf. No, cried the little pig, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then a huff, and a puff, and a blow your house down, laughed the wolf, and that's just what he did. Huff, Puff, whoosh. <laughs> oh no. Meanwhile, the second little pig was walking along the road when he saw a woodcutter piling up sticks. Please, may I buy some sticks? He asked politely. I want to build a house. Of course, answered the woodcutter, but a house made of sticks will soon just fall down. But the second little pig was not listening. He was too much planning. He was too busy planning his new stick home. Wonder if the wolf will find this house. Soon the house was finished. The little pig has just sat down to rest when there was a at the door. Little pig, it was the big bad wolf. He was even hungrier now. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he growled. No way, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And that's exactly what he did. Huff, puff. Whoosh! Meanwhile, this is the third little pig. He had met a builder. Please, may I buy some of your bricks to build my house, he asked. Of course, replied the builder. A fine, strong house of bricks will 
will last forever. The third little pig took the builder's advice. He would build the strongest house in all the land. Finally, after a hard day's work, the house was finished. It had four strong walls of brick, a tiled roof, a sturdy wooden door, and a large fireplace with a chimney. What a nice house. The third little pig had just put a pot of turnips on the fire to boil. When he saw his brothers running down the road, closely followed by the big bad wolf. Quickly, cried the third little pig, hide in here. And they're running to the brick house, the last house. The wolf, who was so hungry right now, he went on the sturdy door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he growled. His tummy was rumbling very loudly with hunger. No way! Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, cried the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Ha ha ha, laughed the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But the brick house stood firm. The wolf was furious. That means angry. He climbed up onto the roof and shouted down the chimney. If I can't blow your house down, I'll come down the chimney and I'll gobble you all up. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see. He's trying to get in the chimney. He couldn't blow the house down. The big bad wolf jumped and landed with a huge splash. Oh my gosh, in the pot of turnips boiling on the fire below. Ew! He leaped up with a scream and ran out the house to never be seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily after in the house made of bricks. So the wolf blew down the straw house. The wolf blew down the stick house. He could not blow down the brick house, but when he went down the chimney, he fell in the boiling water and ran away. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after. We hope you enjoyed this story. We're gonna be reading it a lot this week, so for sequencing. So have a great day, bye.